Welcome back to Farming Simulator 17. This is in U.S. Hill, as you can clearly see. I'm Tenacious Viking, your farmer host. Let's see what's going on. Well, it's night time just after midnight. Oh, yeah, I think we got like 1100 bucks for milk, I think. Let's get some more wheat harvest started, shall we? Wow, yeah, that's loud. Um, oh, we also have some plowing going on at, uh, at the, the large field, and we have some plowing going on at a smaller field to, I think, plant grass here. I think that's what we're going to do. All right, so we have some money in the bank now. We've been harvesting wheat and selling it like crazy, but what we need is um, an inexpensive tractor with a hook for a loader. Um, not sure how big, you know, the T5 might actually work. Maybe we need something a little bulkier than that. A little horsepower. I mean, all we're going to use it for is a loader and maybe to pull a pull something small behind it. Um, wouldn't mind having, let's see, 105, that's 125. See, you get more horsepower for for 2,000 less. Um, some of these tractors are pretty good. I just don't know anything about them, and they're not my favorites, so I'm not going to get them. I'm going to get the uh, New Holland Agriculture. Um, eighty-three forty, and I want a front load attacher. We're gonna do a standard wheel setup, I think. Um, maybe I get wide tires for a load. Nah, I don't. I'm not. I'm not gonna need it for a loader, am I? Nah, I think. I think we're good. Yeah. <clears throat> then I need the front loader arm. I don't know what the difference is between these. 700 Vario. I don't know what the difference is. So I'm, uh, what's the maintenance? Maintenance is the same. I have no clue. Um, the FZ, F. Z30 and the FZ60. I, I don't think it matters. I don't think. I'm going to get the expensive one just because I've got the money. Main color. I think we need. Uh, let's see. The tractor is blue and yellow. I think we need. Uh, so I can find it in the weeds. We need a, a nice bright gold color. Okay. Okay. Uh, then I need a bucket. We do a color on that too. The blue and um, how do I find this one? How about a light blue, huh? Yeah, is that gonna look dumb? It probably will, but I don't care. And I don't know if we need anything else at the moment. Right, bale handler, fork with grapple, silage cutter, hmm. log fork, maybe, but I think we're good for now. Um, so I spent a bunch of money and now we've got some full grain tanks. See, that'll look nice. That'll look nice. I didn't realize that the uh, tractor was just that same color. Uh, let me come back to that. I'm going to uh, figure out which one is... Helper H. Wait, what? I thought that said Helper H. That's not H. Is that... Uh, oh. Oh, okay. All right, let me, uh, yeah, that is helper H, and uh, that means I got to turn this bad boy around. Okay. 
Not too far away, though. I was, I was close. Now, hopefully by the time I get this wheat all harvested and sold, um, I'll have the money to buy the forage wagon. That's my real goal here, and that's why I went with uh, just another tractor and uh, with the with the hooks and the um, and the arm for because uh, I got to clean uh, got to clean the cattle pen. <coughs> That'll also give me another tractor around the uh, around the farm to um, you know maybe grab the. Uh, <clears throat> a trailer and drop some more grass or something or hay and uh, easily. Okay, I do that. Let's see how. I'm just plowing under all this straw. I have a hundred thousand, I think, straw in the hayloft. That's going to be plenty for a while. Um, I just don't see a need to. Um, to keep all this straw. I really don't. Wow, I did a good job of parking the trailer this time. Wagons. Circle the wagons. Okay, that one's okay. I'm going to have to move this other one. However, yeah, that one. Eh. Get him out of the way. 80%. I have no idea how far he's going to make it before he, uh, before he needs to be emptied again. I want to keep monitoring that plow because I don't want to... Uh, don't want to get... Uh, oop. I <sighs> was... Yeah. How do I second guess myself? The only reason I really colored these is because I uh, really wanted to uh, <laughs> want to be able to find them when I put them down. Some really stupid. Which I am sure to do. Some nice lighting here. I'm also working on uh, bringing all these this equipment to the to the farm um, and parking it in uh, some place safe. Do I have another uh, harvester full? I might. These probably full. Just This is a nice little tractor. It's, it's great for the for the purpose. Um, we can haul, uh, well, we can do pallets with it eventually if we want. We can definitely clean up the cow pen, and we can um, we can uh, get bale bale hooks for it if we need it. <coughs> I have all of the uh, grass equipment and haying equipment just parked in a row there. I need to need to get my buildings straight and uh, and park them there. Or I may put a building out there, I'm not sure. Like maybe over on this side here. Uh, once I get the money. I've got it all right here right now. You know, it works. I love those lights. All right. Um, we need to do some cleaning here. I'm pretty sure we have... Um, some nasty pens. Yeah, 40% clean. So we need to clean that up. And Let me get my bucket. Also sped up time a little bit uh, just to get some of that money. Uh, milk money to see how much the milk money would be and then Boy that does not pick up very well. I need to check Maybe that's the problem, huh? There we go. That's better.
We'll get this cleaned up. There we go. And now we have not only a scoop to keep the thing clean, but we also have an extra tractor around for uh, various purposes. Now let me find that other, uh, yeah, that's uh, helper D. I have to figure out where he is in relation to the, uh, oh, that's the wrong, uh, wrong trailer. There it is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Go back this way a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so our next uh, next goal uh, is to um, to get the forage wagon or forage harvester and, and a forage wagon. Maybe we have one. I'll have to try it. And my plan has evolved a little bit. Instead of um, dividing the field up. I think I'm just going to plow and plant for a while and then plow and, and put a little break in uh, to separate crops and then plant something different when I need that. And try to keep a continuous uh, plowing or cultivating, planting and harvesting uh, system going. That is my new plan. Whoa, come on. There we go. I don't, th well, he might be, yeah, I don't think he'll be in the way. We'll see if we get a message or not. So that's good. Um, yeah, because we've got this tractor tied up plowing here, and we've got this one tied up plowing here. When this one gets done plowing, I will seed this as grass. And then I'll have this tractor available to, to use for some other things. This uh, is a smaller plow than, than the biggest one in the game, but it leaves a smaller uh, smaller wedge at the end of the field. Um, I think, if I remember right, I did this in another game, and I only needed one pass at each end instead of three or four on each end like I did with the bigger plow because it just, it just doesn't work very well. Um, I don't know why they did it that way. Uh, okay, so this is full, and where's the wagon? Right about uh, there. If I remember right, I was going to need 300,000 for the forage harvester and the header. This is just a monstrous field. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, I can't see the trailer yet. But I think by, uh, by plowing or cultivating and planting uh, one after the other more or less constantly, we can make adjustments in the crop fairly quickly, uh, fairly easily, and uh, start getting what we need. And if we're, you know, behind or whatever, we just stop. We don't. I'm going to see if I can go this far away. I think I can. 
Yeah, I don't even have to lower the... So that's probably a better distance than what I've been using. I should check uh, prices while I'm here. Ah, look at that. Nice and clean. Yeehaw. Oops. Went past it. <laughs> Dummy. Whoa. Cut it out. Gee. Um, prices suck on everything. I mean, Mary's Farm is the best for wheat, and that's not bad. As long as it's over 500, I'm okay with that. But, uh... Even the canola kind of sucky. Okay, sunflowers is coming back. Soybeans is really low. Excuse me. Well, even the silage is really bad. Oh, okay, the silage isn't bad, but the uh, okay, the manure is. Yeah. Well, I'll be probably with 2,000 cattle. I'll have lots of manure to sell. I don't know if it's worth it even, but we'll see. Really? All right, where's Jay? Oh, I think H is parked right by the tractor again, or the trailer again. Nice. Sorry I have to use the map all the time, but I don't know which end of the field they're on when they get full. It's just, you know, one of those things. Yeah, once, you know, LPD has a full green tank, too. Once those tanks get full, I could do just nothing but chase these harvesters all day long. There we go. Let me find the other one. And I think he's right behind me. Isn't he? Yep. Ha ha. Dead reckoning. Oh, I have a uh, pressure washer at the cattle farm. I should really use that on some of this stuff, but I'm kind of busy with it right now. I believe that I decided that uh, once this huge wheat harvest is over, I will sell one of these harvesters and uh, and buy a harvester that can uh, that can do corn and um, sunflowers. I'll also have to buy a planter for them. I don't believe I have one of those yet either. So this is going to get full, isn't it? All right, we are off to Mary's farm to sell wheat. Got to keep checking, but I've got 100,000 wheat stored also, uh, and I'll probably just hang on to that. Apparently, you can store 100,000 in each crop. I wasn't sure what the 100,000 meant, but I think you can do that. Boy, this, these, uh, all this equipment drifts. I don't remember it doing that on any in in 15 or 2013, uh, but it sure, boy, sure does here. Let me cover it. No, you can't. This, no, it's not. Okay, I wonder if this one would follow up or connect to a uh, hitch to a. Uh, forage harvester. Might, but I, I got the... Where did the other one go? I disconnected from it, didn't I? And I don't know where I left it. Oh, shoot. I wonder how much... I 
think the uh, harvester itself is like oops 250 because even if I can't afford the header I'll buy that first and then experiment with hooking it to a trailer I'm not going to do forage harvesting without a uh, without a, a, a an attachable trailer I'm just not so I have another smaller wheat field here. Uh, I'm going to wait till this harvester gets to the end and then just send them over here. So we will have wheat for days. Should be about maybe twenty five thousand, maybe. If I remember right. Let's see what we get. Let's see if I'm right. I think I have to manually close this thing too. I always forget to do that. We'll see. Oh, that the closest. 26, 930. Cool. All right. And I'm going to do something I said I wouldn't, but that's going to have to be next time. I'm going to clean this sucker. That's all the time I have for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Click on that purple circle to subscribe and check out the other games I play. Meanwhile, be sure to join me next time when, once again, Tenacious Viking plays Farming Simulator 17 in U.S. Hill.